All right. Um, I just wanted to share this interesting development that I just uh, came across in my fish room. Uh, I don't know how many of you are aware that this aquarium that I had set up in here was an attempt of me of trying to breed um, some bettas. And I actually had put in a pair in here and had left them there for about a week. And then had pulled the, the female and had just left the male in here. Because I didn't think that they had um, really spawned. Uh, you know, I, they he had done a real small, weak-looking bubble nest. And I never saw anything come of it. It just kind of slowly disappeared. Well, what I was doing is I had removed the betta from here because I'm going to need this aquarium. Because... As you guys saw in that video before, and you guys can see in there, uh, I've got angelfish fry again. So what I was doing is I was going to try to get these guys and set it, put them back in here and start growing them out. So as I'm getting ready to do that, I pull the male out and all of a sudden I start seeing movement in here. I think there's a little, little fry in here. A better fry, there he is. Oh, there's two, no, that's a, that's a, that is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him. Uh, let me see if I can zoom him in. Uh, right now, I can see right in that, by the branch, let me see, what, right in there. Uh, you see him darting around? It's a little better fry, at least one in here. So, ne oh, there's two. Oh, wow. Well, that means if there's two, there's probably more. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and try to see how many I can pull out of here. I'm going to set them up temporarily in this setup right here. Because um, I'll be able to do water changes a lot easier than here. And then I'm going to move these guys um, into this aquarium. So let me try to fish those guys out of here and I'll show you how many I end up getting. All right. So well, hang on. Well, as you can see, I was successfully able to breed the the bettas, even though I only had two. The only reason I think I don't have more is because I left the dad in there, and I think he picked them all off, and these are the last two that actually managed to survive. This is going to be interesting. I want to grow them out and see what I get. This encourages me because now I know that I can do this, and... The next time that I try this again, I think I'm going to have a little bit more success. Well, that's where I'm going to keep these guys in while I grow them out. These are the little bettas, the fry. Uh, these guys in here are still kind of have the yolk sacs attached to them. I don't know if you're going to be able to make them out, but they're in little clusters right now, like in little circles. Let me see if I can move this uh, right there in the bottom, as you guys can see them. So I want to move these guys from there, and I'm going to put them in this aquarium. I just added a ton of green water that I have in a bucket that's sitting out right outside my garage because I want all those microorganisms to be in there. As a matter of fact, you can kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's quite a bit of life in all this water in there. Little, little, there you go. Little microorganisms that are going to be in there, which are going to be the first foods for these guys until they lose their egg sac, their egg sac. And they start becoming free swimmers. Once they start seeing the free swimming um, fry in there, uh, you can see they're still kind of wiggling there. Uh, then I'll start using some of my vinegar eels. So I'm going to go ahead and move these guys over. I'm going to obviously put the, the entire tote in there, let it, let it uh, acclimatize to the temperature, and then I'll just dump the entire thing in there. Um, but th that's why I started doing a green water culture because almost everybody that I know that is breeding uh, some type of um, fish that want to be serious breeders, they all have green water because that seems to be the most successful uh, food for a real small uh, fry. So let me go ahead and get these guys in there and uh, I guess I'll show you once, once I've put them in there see if we can see them. The water is a little bit murky because I left all the moam that was in that aquarium from when the betta was in there. I also want those microorganisms to be in there. So there'll be tons of food for them because I don't get to feed them on a, a two or three times a day because of my work schedule. So let me get this stuff in there. So let me go ahead and put them in there and I'll show you once they're in there. 
Okay, as you guys can see, I've already um, dumped all of these guys in here. You guys can see the hornwort that's floating in there. I don't think we're going to be able to see much as of right now. Just because there's a lot of murkiness, but that's okay. I kind of want that. I want all those suspended particles to be in there. Um, I'll show you again tomorrow once this clears down and settles down. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. But I just kind of wanted to share you share that with you guys. I was really just going to come in here and uh, dump that tray into what's been my, my breeding tank. It's a five-gallon aquarium. And obviously, I don't have five gallons of water in there. But, um, you know, I was just going to do that because I thought I hadn't had any success with the beta. But look, there's two of them. So... I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to growing those out. Hopefully, I can raise them. They were doing fine in there without me doing anything at all, and um, I'm hoping that I can successfully grow them out. And I'll I'll increase my number of bettas in this fish room. Now I'm gonna have to start setting up some of the bowls that I have and probably provide a permanent home for those guys. But that was just it. This was an unexpected video, uh, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you it's a little bit exciting to see anytime you get new new fry in the fish room so there you go i've got two better fry and hopefully a little group of angel fish uh if i get a if out of that group i can get 10 of them i'll be more than happy so until the next time thank you guys <laughs>